Item number SCP-3290 Object Class Cutter Special Containment Procedures Foundation responses to different 3290 events will depend on the different circumstances. These include, but are not limited to, 1. Local community standing of the individual affected 2. Global knowledge of the individual affected 3. Social media outreach and influence 4. Prior criminal charges and outcome of said charges 5. Level of involvement in scientific research 6. Believability of account given during 3290 events Foundation personnel working in law enforcement or child care who are able to identify 3290 offense are to bring it to the attention of disinformation specialists. Research is to be conducted in order to better predict the location and spread of SCP-3290 beyond the current rate of prediction analytics. Approximately 42%. Persons in a position of authority who are likely to be next affected by SCP-3290 are to be monitored in the case of a 3290 event. Description SCP-3290 is a phenomenon involving a recurring dream that targets one individual at a time. Individuals affected by SCP-3290 experience nightmares in which they are attacked by leeches, mosquitoes, and other hematophagic, blood-consuming organisms, resulting in a loss of most of the body's moisture and subsequent mummification of the individual experiencing the nightmare. Despite experiencing intense discomfort upon waking, individuals targeted by SCP-3290 do not have any physical symptoms related to massive blood loss experienced in the dream. Nightmares will occur during slow wave sleep, Swiss. The exact nature and length of nightmares vary. Although barring being disrupted from Swiss, nightmares typically last for a minimum of an hour. During the time an individual is asleep, 3290 events occur. During a 3290 event, the target's social media will be updated with posts describing crimes of one or more of the following in a fragmented stream of consciousness manner. Child pornography possession, sexual assault of a minor, stalking a minor, murder of a minor, use of minors in scientific research. Note, data expunged. The accuracy of these posts is estimated to be approximately 98%. Furthermore, regardless of accuracy, all individuals questioned by law enforcement will admit to either committing a crime related to pedophilia or otherwise sexually fetishizing minors. While it has been impossible to pinpoint the person next affected, in most instances, SCP-3290 will select its next target from a previous target's social media contacts, allowing for semi-consistent tracking. It is theorized that individuals with no social media accounts will not be targeted or are otherwise undetectable to the Foundation.